Did you recently find out you're pregnant and can't wait to buy some maternity wear to show off that cute little bump? Well, hold off for just a little while longer. I'm currently going through my fourth pregnancy and I wanted to share what I think is essential when it comes to maternity wear. Save yourself some time and money and watch this video before you start adding to cart. Hi everyone, welcome to Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I love to share content about minimalism, cleaning, and organizing. I wanted to create this video because I really think that maternity wear can be a big waste of money if you buy what isn't essential. But if you're pregnant for the first time, it's hard to know what is and what isn't necessary. Hopefully today's video will help guide you. So as I mentioned earlier, this is my fourth pregnancy, but when I was pregnant with my first, I didn't really know what to buy and what not to buy when it came to maternity wear, and I bought too much. Though it doesn't always feel like it, you're not pregnant for a long period of time, and you can wear your regular clothes for most of the pregnancy. After my first pregnancy, I had packed away all of my maternity wear in a suitcase and put it in the garage. Well, one day our garage was left open overnight and someone stole that suitcase, so I lost all of my maternity wear. When I got pregnant for the second time, I had a better idea of what I needed, so I only purchased a few items. Our third baby wasn't planned, so I had already donated all of my maternity wear, so once again, I had to buy it again. This time, I purchased even less. And now our fourth, which also wasn't planned. By the way, if you missed the video on how I ended up getting pregnant again, watch this one. Anyway, since I wasn't planning on having another baby, I had donated my maternity wear and once again, I had to buy some items. This time I bought even less than the other times and it's working out perfectly. So now let me explain how you can figure out what to buy. First off, it really depends on when you're due and your lifestyle. So all of my babies were born or will be born in either September, October or November. That means that here in Toronto, Canada, I will be bigger in the summer. So I won't need sweaters and a coat or other warm attire. Shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, and dresses is what I'll be wearing. But if you're due in the winter, then you're gonna have to take that into consideration when planning out your maternity wardrobe. I'm also an elementary school teacher, which means that I'm off from work all summer long, so I don't need office attire. Even if I were to go to work, I can dress pretty casual at work, so there's no need for me to buy anything dressy. If you work in an office, then you will have to take that into consideration when deciding what to buy. The next thing I'd suggest you do when it comes to maternity wear is not buy it in advance. Wait until you're bigger, then buy what you need. You'll be surprised how far into the pregnancy you can get with your regular wardrobe. After having three kids, I don't exactly have a six pack anymore, um, or ever, so I've always liked buying tops and dresses that are loose around my belly. Well, now that I'm pregnant, this is working out perfectly because all of those items still fit. I also love wearing leggings and like to wear long tops that cover my bum. Once again, these tops are working out perfectly during my pregnancy because they're still long enough to go over my bump. I also like layering tank tops with cardigans, blazers, and jackets. All of these items still fit regardless of how pregnant I get. Also, I have a few pairs of shorts that have a very stretchy waistband, so as long as I wear them below my bump, they fit perfectly. My dresses also all fit since they're loose around the belly, so I'm still wearing those. If you're not aware, I have a capsule wardrobe as my regular wardrobe. If you want to know more about that, I have videos on my channel all about it. There's also a freebie on my website that you can download that will help you create your own. I'll link it in the description box down below. I also have several blog posts about capsule wardrobes that you can check out. I'll link all of those down below as well. And on Instagram, I have a capsule wardrobe IGTV series where I show you how I put together different outfits using one staple item. So what maternity pieces did I actually have to buy this time around? I bought one pair of black maternity leggings because I do not find it comfortable to wear my regular leggings. 
And since I do laundry daily now and not weekly, I can just throw them in the wash and they're always available for me to wear. By the way, if you haven't watched my new laundry routine video yet, you need to watch it. It has been a complete lifesaver when it comes to laundry. So I bought one pair of leggings and I also bought two nursing bras. My regular bras were getting tighter, so I bought these very basic ones and I know that not only will I use them throughout my pregnancy, but after I give birth, I'll use them for the full year since I'll be nursing and they're nursing bras. I also bought five pairs of maternity underwear because my regular ones weren't comfortable anymore. I purchased all of these items from H&M. They have lots of basic and practical maternity wear and often have sales, so I think it's worth it to buy a few items from there. And there you have it guys, that is my current maternity wardrobe. I really hope that this video has helped you figure out what you'll need to buy if you happen to be pregnant. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Next week, I'm gonna be sharing a video all about a DIY responsibility or chore board I created for my children. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Also, if you're interested in learning how to declutter and fully organize your home step by step, make sure to sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership. I'll also teach you my entire cleaning schedule and explain how I grocery shop, meal prep, and meal plan. The link for Clear the Clutter is in the description box down below. Lastly, for more organization tips and tricks, make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and also check out my blog. I share a ton of valuable content that will help you get more organized. You'll also wanna check out one of these two videos for more valuable content. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and happy tidying. Bye.